Hello, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to the new Applia, um, otherwise known as MindTap. Um, a MindTap is the new platform that Applia is in, um, so things look a little different, especially for my Accounting 2 kids. Um, this is going to look different for you. Accounting 1, you don't know any difference, so um, you shouldn't have any issues kind of adjusting. But just to take a tour of the new platform, um, it's broken down by parts. So um, when you open a part, it's going to have the number of chapters that are in there. Um, each part is going to have a brief introduction. This introduction simply tells you um, about the business that you're going to be working with during that part, so to speak. So um, accounting one, you're going to be working with some a, a company called Delgado Web Services. So it just gives you a little overview of what um, Delgado does. So it's just real short that's all the introduction is so no um, worries about that and then you can open up your chapter and so your chapter is broken down by first there's an introduction so if you want to um, check out the introduction you can do that I'll just show you what it looks like here um, it talks about the learning objectives it's essentially the same things that are in your book um, so it's kind of nice that everything is in one place if your book isn't with you. Um, and then let's take a look at our first section in chapter one. So in 1-1, one -one, um, they actually have the reading that you would need to do for chapter one. And I encourage you to take a look at some of this, especially if you start struggling with vocabulary um, or if you start struggling with objectives and things. Um, it's really kind of nice that you can have this with you on your tablet at all times. So they just have this reading activity. Um, it is not mandatory, it's not scored, but it is there for you to use as a resource. Um, then we have what they call the 1-1 end of lesson review. Um, really what this is, um, it is our work together and are on our on your own excuse me so <clears throat> what we do is we open this up and we click on it and then this my accounting two students this should look semi-familiar this is kind of like back into Applia it kind of has the same blue and then all you do is you click on um, whether it's the work together and on your own and then this should look exactly like what the videos um, I made look like so then you can go back to your assignment and you can click on the on your own and complete your assignment and go from there. Now, as a reminder, your work together and your on your own are always graded based on completion. So did you attempt it? If you attempted it, um, you get five points for each one. Now, I haven't figured out how to change these yet. Um, I think because they are just practice problems. Um, you, I can't score those. Um, but just remember, even though MindTap slash Applia tells you they're out of two points, your work together and your on your own are always out of 10 points. Five points for the work together and five points for your on your own. So just so we're clear about that. Then at the end of your work together on your own, you also have your application problem. Now the application problem is based on um, your point value. So whatever it says here, will be what your points are out of. So um, I scored out of 10 points. Again, Applia likes to score it out of two and I don't like how they do that. So I score it out of 10. Um, and then same thing, you just click on your problem and you go ahead and go through it. Now also make sure that you pay attention to this save and continue button. Um, Applia does, or I should say Applia slash MindTab does have a time out. So like your browser will time out if you haven't been doing anything in it for, I think it's 59 minutes. Once it hits 60 minutes, you will lose what you're working on. So if you're one of those people that just leaves the tab open and you think that you'll be able to come back and work on it, you won't. So you need to make sure that when you get to the end of the hour or wherever you happen to be working, always hit the save and continue button or you will lose your work. Okay, so make sure that you do that. Um, so after each section, that typically will be due on the same day, 
um, your work together on your own, and then also your application problems. Then at the end of every chapter, we have our chapter review. So there's a couple of things here. Um, they have a couple of extra resources, this looking at the accounting software. Um, you can check this out. It just talks about um, how Delgado uses accounting software. If you don't, it's just a resource, so nothing too crazy there. They also have a chapter review for you. Um, again, another great resource that you can use to help you study. Um, it gives a summary and then applying your understanding to make sure that they're just some practice questions, great for the test. And then you, of course, have your um, problems that um, get graded. So this one happens to have an extra application problem. There's always a mastery problem that goes along with um, the chapter. The mastery problem is putting everything together um, that you've learned so far. So like one, 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 two, and one, three, everything we learned in there will be in the mastery problem. So your mastery problem is always typically worth more than the application problems. And then I always have a challenge problem. And sometimes there's also a source document problem. It just depends on the chapter. Your challenge problems and your source document problems are always extra credit. So you can get up to five points extra credit. Um, based on how well you do on the challenge problem. And then last but not least, they also provide you with some flashcards. So that's another kind of cool um, resource that they have for you um, that you can utilize to help you learn some of the vocabulary. Um, depending upon what uh, type of what's happening in the section, I just want to show you in chapter two, for example, um, if we open up 2-2 two, two here, um, they have the reading lesson, and then they also have some animated like activity videos. There's a little quiz, um, some other transactions that you can practice. Um, all these are extra resources to kind of help you when we have maybe a little bit of a tougher section. Um, so feel free to use those. These are not anything that you have to complete. Um, remember the only time that you have to complete it or it counts toward the grade, there will be this little orange dot that tells you that. Um, so just so you are aware um, of kind of how the new platform looks, um, hopefully you get, hopefully you like using it. I think for the most part, how I've uh, kind of messed around with it so far, it seems to be um, pretty straightforward. So. Um, like I said, it just changed over at the beginning of August here, so I'm learning it along with you. So if you have questions, um, certainly ask Mrs. Fisher, and if um, she can't figure it out, then we can contact me and we'll see if we can get things straightened out for you.